Chapter 49 of The Holiest of All by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Chapter 49 The Forerunner Within the Veil. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 18 to 20. That we may have a strong encouragement who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us, which we have as an anchor of the soul, a hope both sure and steadfast and entering into that which is within the veil whither as a forerunner jesus entered for us having become a high priest for ever after the order of melchizedek in chapter five speaking of the priesthood of jesus the writer had twice cited the words of psalm one hundred and ten with its prophecy of a priest after the order of melchizedek chapter five verses six and ten but he feared that the Hebrews were, by reason of sloth, too far back in the Christian life to be able to receive this higher teaching. It was on this account he interposed his words of reproof and warning. From these he had passed to exhortation and encouragement, and is now ready to address himself to what is the central teaching of the epistle. There are specially two great heavenly mysteries he is commissioned to unfold the one that of the heavenly priesthood of christ the other that of the heavenly sanctuary in which he ministers and into which he gives us access in the two last verses of our sixth chapter we have the transition to the new section and in it these mysteries are both mentioned as the hope set before us hope enters within the veil it finds there the forerunner who has entered for us jesus a high priest after the order of melchizedek we who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us the hope sometimes means the object of hope that which god sets before us sometimes the subjective grace or disposition of hope in our hearts here it specially refers to the former and what that hope is is clear from the next chapter 7 verse 19 where we read of the bringing in of a better hope through which we draw nigh to god this better hope is the access our high priest in heaven gives us into god's very presence into the enjoyment of his fellowship and blessedness even while here on earth which we have as an anchor of the soul a hope both sure and firm and entering into that which is within the veil the hope is an anchor a ship is held by the anchor cast into the unseen depth beneath so the hope in the unseen within the veil which god has given us holds us fast and as our heart is fixed upon it hope as a subjective grace is stirred and drawn and enters within the veil too where our hope lives there the heart lives there we our real selves are living too whither the forerunner is for us entered the forerunner here we have another of the key words of the epistle without the right understanding of which our view of the work of jesus as high priest must be defective it points us to the work he did in opening up the way by himself walking in it to our following him in that way to the place into which he has entered and into which we now have access we have had his name as leader we shall yet have chapter 10 verse 21 the new and living way he has opened up we shall hear chapter 12 verse 1 of the race we have to run looking to jesus who went on before enduring the cross and is now set down at the right hand of god there is nothing will so much help us to understand the work jesus does as son and high priest as the acceptance of him as leader and forerunner bringing us into the very presence of the father entered for us we are so familiar with all the blessed meaning there is in the words for us in reference to christ on the cross what he did there was all for us by it and in it we live no less is it true of christ within the veil it is all for us all that he is and has there is for us it is our present possession by it and in it we live with him and in him the veil was rent that the way through it might be opened for us that we might have access to that which is within the veil 
that we might enter into a new world, an entirely new way of living in close and intimate fellowship with God. A high priest must have a sanctuary in which he ministers. The mystery of the opened sanctuary is that we can enter too. The inner sanctuary, the holiest of all, the presence of God, is the sphere of Christ's ministry and our life and service. The forerunner, even Jesus. It is as if the writer delights to repeat this name which our Saviour bears as Son of Man. Even in the glory of heaven he is still Jesus, our brother. Having become a high priest for ever after the order of Melchizedek. We have yet to learn all that is contained in this Melchizedek priesthood. But this will be its chief glory, that he is a priest for ever, a priest in the power of an endless life, a priest who opens to us the state of life to which he himself has entered in, and brings us there to live here on earth with the life of eternity in our bosom. Christian reader, knowest thou the power of this hope, entering into that which is within the veil, whither the forerunner is for us entered? Jesus is in heaven for thee, to secure thee a life on earth in the power and joy of heaven, to maintain the kingdom of heaven within thee by that Spirit through whom God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. All that Jesus is and has is heavenly. All that he gives and does is heavenly. As high priest at God's right hand, he blesses with all heavenly blessings. O oh, prepare thyself, as the glory of his person and ministry in the heavenly places are now to be opened up to thee, to look upon it and appropriate it all as thy personal possession, and believe that his high priesthood not only consists in his having secured certain heavenly blessings for thee, but in his fitting and enabling thee to enter into the full personal experience and enjoyment of them. There is a sanctuary in which God dwells. There was a veil that separated man from God. Jesus came from within to live without the veil and rend it and open a way for us. He is now there for us as forerunner. We may now enter in and dwell there in the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the gospel according to the epistle to the Hebrews. Hope enters within the veil, rejoices in all there to be found, and counts upon the revelation in the heart of all that is there prepared for us. Jesus, the forerunner, follow him. Even though thou canst not understand all, follow him in his path of humility and meekness and obedience. He will bring thee in. This is the promise which, even in this life, thou shalt inherit through patience and long-suffering. End of chapter 49